Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemy against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our terror reading. Um, so someone behind the scenes may be paying for more manipulations to take place and maybe trying to put a rest or put an end to, I don't know if this is a couple that's being put to rest. Uh, so maybe there's a couple out here that maybe people are kind of fed up with or tired of, don't want to be associated with. Maybe something really toxic and karmic has been illuminated about these two. Maybe these are two people that have been pretending or stealing something for a long time. Um, but there's something where it's, yeah, these are two toxic people. The truth is being illuminated by them. They, they, very karmic, unhappy together, unfulfilled. These are like two Bonnie and Clyde's working together. They've always been this way. Um, there may be a relationship coming to an end. Maybe someone, maybe one of them want to hold on to the relationship and the other person wants to let go. So someone is losing a relationship and the other person is moving forward in victory. But, um, and excuse me, maybe they're not karmic. It may just be that a relationship is coming to an end because someone, uh, maybe the masculine wants to be in a fulfilling relationship. The woman in the relationship may be um, intimidated by another person. Maybe that doesn't know them. What I'm getting is that a relationship is coming to an end or family is coming to an end. Um, so that something new can begin. Maybe this is a family that kind of got together to make sure two people that are not really happy be together stay together and karma is playing out it said regardless of what they do at the end of the day uh something is still playing out like it's supposed to there may have been a man that was manipulated into marrying someone so there could be people two people getting married and the man is not very sure about the relationship um yeah he's not very sure someone may be stuck trapped he feels like he's being forced into something uh so this is so interesting. Oh my God. This is so interesting. You may have, I don't know if it's like the both of them are trying to take some type of impulsive action or there's another couple in the community taking some type of impulsive action. Listen, this is all weird. It could be like two karmic people that are maybe unhappy that something is being illuminated by a, about a community or about their relationship. Like the the energy is all over the place. It's all over the place. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And there's some type of friendship that's over as well. So if there were people working with this couple in the past to steal something, take something from someone else, that relationship may be coming to an end because it is something very toxic um, people feel like they were misled by a couple or a community. A community may be going through some type of loss. A couple may have to move on. I had a dream, uh, not a dream. I had some type of premonition of a woman trying, uh, like crossing a river. Uh, I don't know if someone's trying to flee a situation or whatever this is, trying to get away from something that she created for herself. But I, I don't, I, like I saw someone with a backpack, like trying to cross a river. Like, on foot. And I'm just like, girl, what are you doing in the wilderness? You don't look like you belong in the wilderness. Like, you look like you're allergic to bugs and grass and trees and everything that has to do with nature. And sis looked like she was just out of place. You know, you ain't supposed to be somewhere. Don't go there. But she looked like she was out of place in that little permanent of mine. Someone is trying to get away from so, for, with something or from something that they created for themselves. It may be that someone is being told they have to return something or something is not being uh, given to them or whatever it is. And they're still trying to force something to go their way. 
So maybe someone stole some money, uh, whatever, but it looks like someone is trying to get away with something they cannot get away with. Um, there's a woman out here, this queen of pentacles. We've been picking up on her for a long time. Someone is going through H E double hockey stick. Someone is going through it. Like this woman is under judgment. Her ancestors don't left her. Um, she's out here trying to hide secrets, still paying for spell works, still manipulating behind the scenes. Someone just refuses to learn their lesson. Someone is doing a lot of rituals, a lot of manipulation, trying to force something to go her way. She may even be trying to block someone else's destiny. She don't want you receiving some type of contract that you're supposed to receive. So there's a queen of pentacles out here still trying to force something. This could be someone that maybe got something in a very dishonest way. Like she may have stolen something from someone, like maybe an inheritance, a house money, property, something. She may have stolen something from someone and maybe it is time for her to let go that someone is falling from grace. So they're, <clears throat> they're going from being well kept to being the queen of pentacles in the reverse. So this is something being balanced out and we've been warning this woman for a long time. Um, so someone that's an authority figure is doing the right thing in a situation. They're putting an, uh, either a couple to an end, a family to an end, a community to an end, something. And they may want to take some type of impulsive action because they're going through this ending to do you something. So your finances, your uh, foundation, they want to dismantle it so you're not out here being, you know, content in life. But it looks like this is what's happening to her. She's under judgment, the bad kind of judgment. Uh, things are not going in her favor. She wanted you to lose a contract and now she's losing a contract. Someone is going through karma. The truth is being exposed. Someone, I'm telling you, someone is going through it behind the scenes. She may have told a lot of lies about you to cause a lot of burdens for you. And it looks like things are playing out in her life the way she intended for them to play out in your life. You may be receiving receiving some type of communication and by some type of uh, uh, situation that's going on behind the scenes, like a tower is taking place for a community of people. They're going through karma because of something they did, trying to interfere with your forward movement, doing a lot of lies, manipulations, rituals, and things like that. Heck, there are people in this community that don't even want to be part of this nonsense anymore. Like They want to move on with their life in confidence, may even want to communicate with you. Maybe they want to work with you or just establish some type of friendship with you like people are putting an end to this nonsense because something has been drawn out for a little bit too long maybe people were part of something they didn't quite understand the full extent of what they were partaking in and now they may be going through a lot of losses someone may have some type of court case coming in that they're going to lose miserably uh they may be trying to even put an end to your forward movement because there are still people in this community that are trying to defeat you trying to end you block you destroy you you have a cold-blooded narcissist on your hand here this woman and there is a man behind the scenes who's a practitioner who would be a king of swords that's very void of human emotion someone is very toxic very comic and he takes pride in uh what it is that he does you know i just want to remind you people that are this dedicated to destroying other people's lives and blocking blessings and opportunities for them know that everybody has their day in court so today you may be causing or wreaking havoc in a light worker's life but remember there's always uh your time everybody has their day in court so it don't matter what you're doing how old you are, who you are in society, karma don't miss a beat. Everybody will get it. Karma say everybody can get it. And it, karma oftentimes comes when you least expect it. I'm telling you, you'll be sitting looking all pretty and then here she comes. Here she comes. She said, oh, hi, remember? You said, remember who? She said, I'm here to, uh, to pay you back <laughs> to return something. I said, I don't want that. No, it's yours. Okay, yeah, this this family here, they're not doing very well, or this couple is not doing very well. They're being seen for exactly who they are. This this is so crazy because these two cars, they came out exactly the same in a reading yesterday, 4th of July. They came out exactly the same, the Ten of Cups with the Seven of Wands in the reverse. There's a couple or a community that's being seen as disingenuine, like morals, 
financially motivated, very greedy. Uh, they will do anything and everything for money. They've been trying to force some type of new beginning to go in their favor, but they're not receiving it. It's going to an Empress energy by judgment of the Most High. Um, but there is a couple or a family being uh, exposed out here as a bunch of narcissists that have been working really hard to block someone's work have them living out in the cold. They may even want to do something where you're in a sabotage in your ace of pentacles and your abundance. Maybe you're supposed to have some type of uh, union coming in, in work, in a relationship, whatever it is. They're trying to get you to sabotage yourself. Uh, and maybe something is not working. So they're doing things behind the scenes to make sure that you are destroyed and then they can make it look like a natural disaster. But something is backfiring on these people. They're trying to figure out if you're someone that's on social media, because I've been seeing the page of source quite a lot in these readings, uh, especially when I'm sh uh, shuffling my deck. Um, they may be trying to dis uh, disconnect you from your uh, uh, um, like your community, your followers, your supporters, and things like that. Um, they're trying to find a way to disconnect you all. They don't want people supporting you. They don't want people watching you. They don't want people listening to you. Uh, they don't want people taking you seriously and things like that because there's something you have that's a Ten of Pentacles. It's going to be a Ten of, ten of Pentacles, but they're trying to find a way how to cause blockages to your uh, forward movement, your growth, your acceleration. You have a victory in your life, but you will. You could be a Queen of Swords, which is also something I've been picking up on a lot. Um, you could be a queen of swords. Maybe you're speaking your truth and it's bothering these people. But that's not really your problem to worry about because it's always maybe been your part in the situation, in the contract with your ancestors is to speak your truth, to live in your truth, uh, be genuine to yourself, with yourself in your job or your work, whatever it is you do, like mine will be terrible. Just be genuine, straightforward with it. This is a ten of pentacles that's coming into you that people are trying to destroy. This family, however, they're living in fear because what? If you have victory, that means it's their defeat. Oh, that's how someone is seeing it. Yeah, it's their defeat. They're in competition with you. They feel like if you are victorious, then they are failures. But your destiny really has nothing to do with these people. These are just people that have chosen to mingle and attach themselves to your pathway. Your pathway has nothing to do with these people. These are just uh, a group. That came together out of greed, jealousy, animosity, bitterness, and a refusal to do the work, the inner work. And they have made you an enemy. A lot of you don't even know these people are not part of these communities. Uh, probably wouldn't want to be part of these types of communities if you were um, aware of them. But for some reason, they're very focused on you. You may have a, a couple out here. Then maybe you were telling people you were interfering with their relationships and things like that. And you don't even know these people. Uh, for Since I do tarot, for example, let's say someone's watching my platform and I'm doing a re and it just so happy maybe the re resonates with something that's going on in their life and they take it personal, which is why we always say, please don't take anything personal. Don't force anything up to apply to your situation. But if it resonates, then they'll take it and make it personal and say that you're talking about them. Meanwhile, you don't even know this person. Uh, let's say even you have like, you know, how I have dreams and promenations and things like that. Let's say I hear someone's name in my dream and when I come on here, I talk about the dream. That person that person thinks that you are personally attacking them when you don't even know the person. It's like you were just, your name was just revealed to me in a dream or I just saw you in a dream. I don't know you, never met you before. So, and you know very well, you and I have never met before. So how can I be talking about you uh, directly when I'm just talking about a dream that I had? So it's something like that, that may be going on. Also, there may have been a woman out here stealing from other people, maybe content creators because content keeps coming up. Uh, someone has been out here stealing content from other people. It may be people's voices, their intellectual property, their creativities and things like that, right? Trying to block their downloads. They don't want them to have the right kind of communication. Someone has been doing some type of manipulation so that you don't receive your messages from your ancestors the right way. They want you to be confused. They want the messages to be like, uh, just all over the place, confused, no type of correlation or nothing in what it is you're talking about so that when you open your mouth to speak, you sound really illiterate or just incompetent and things like that, but it's not happening. Uh, maybe something was effective on some readers uh, for a while, but something has balanced itself out and that's how the universe always has it set up. You can do all the manipulation you want for a long time, but they're going to balance something out because the universe has become balanced. It's become karma. 
So whatever manipulation they were doing to con conflict, cause some type of conflict on how you see things, how you view things, how you receive your communication from the spirit realm is being balanced out. Someone may have been trying to pay for your demise, pay for your ending, uh, have something done to your energy. Like someone does not like that youthfulness that you may have about yourself. They don't want people taking you seriously. Someone's very bothered at the idea of you being happy. You know, someone is very insecure and just just not someone you want to be associated with when they can be that bothered by other people being happy. Heck, I thought that was the goal in life to have as many happy people in the world as possible. But there are people that are bothered by that. Some of you, uh, this is coming up. You may have an ex in the background of you that's intimidated and does not want to see you moving forward. So he, she may be doing things behind the scenes as well to cause you hindrances. Uh, maybe someone has been doing something for a long time. Uh, maybe your ex may be in a new relationship and she or he is telling people that you're causing problem in their relationship. Meanwhile, you probably haven't talked to this person in umpteenth years, months, weeks, or whatever. You probably don't even talk to this person at all, right? Um, but they're out here saying that you're causing problems for them. And I know I've been picking up on this a lot. Every time I see this Ten of Cups and this uh, 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 Seven of Wands in reverse, it's letting me know that there's a couple being seen for exactly who they are. They used to pretend like they were in the upright. They were the ideal couple. Something was very superficial um, and it's being exposed as something that's not very superficial. Uh, that's not very... Uh, uh, upstanding is something that's based on materialism and things like that. Uh, there, someone may feel inadequate in a relationship or something. Like, I don't know what the heck it is with these people. I really don't care about their relationship, what it is that's going on. I mean, it has to be important if it's coming out in the reading. But these people may, these two may be going through some type of separation, some type of divorce, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Okay, uh, there could be some type of uh ending or some a child may be sick there's something going on with a child in a community and that's been coming up a lot in our technically typically don't really like to touch on those topics um but it just keeps coming out there is something going on with a child like i don't know if the child is sick uh, is it like a chronic illness or something i don't know what it is but there is a child that is sick hopefully they're not passing uh, if they do, then I, I, I really, I don't know because there's too many signs out here about, yeah, I, I, I'm not getting in that. I'm so sorry. I, that's, that's like a very uncomfortable topic because that's one of the worst pains you can go through and I don't want to even like, I'm just going to pass over that. Okay. Uh, someone may be trying to take some type of impulsive action now, now that the truth is out and people are starting to figure out the truth. Um, uh, see things for what it is. Um, someone may be trying to take some type of action to come towards you, I guess, to confess, but I don't think this person is going to be confessing the truth. Uh, what they're really doing is trying to take action to cause you a tower. So someone may come in trying to act like they're advocating for you. They're not a friend. Uh, this is a manipulator at the core. Someone's very uh, cold-hearted someone um all they do is think about how to take other people down there's a there's either like a i don't know who this is like a masculine a fem, there's a community that's gonna need a lawyer it's what i keep, keep being told like either this queen of pentacles queen of wands queen of cups queen uh king of swords there's someone that's going to need um a lawyer because there's something that has gotten legal and that's been coming up a lot some type of law was broken. Some type of rights were... I don't know if this is like defamation, invasion, something like that. Someone's going to need a lawyer, okay? A whole lawyer. Uh, but there's a high priestess in a community, which I told you before, I think. Because I, like I, I feel like I keep picking up on the same group and the same community. There's a high priestess that's headed to poverty. And this is because of you working with these people to do another or uh, fellow high priestess something that you know you should not have done that. I know you're living in fear about your uh, 
I don't know, your resources, your abundance, something coming to an end for you, you not being able to move forward. I think your sight has been taken away from you and you're living in fear because you can't see the truth anymore. And that's your karma that you're going through. Uh, I mean, I don't really feel sorry for people like that, so I don't even know what to tell you. But your sight has either been taken from you or it's going to be taken from you. You're not able to really see into the spirit realm like you were supposed to. The people that you were helping, this is what they're going through. Uh, they're going through heartbreaks and things like that. I don't know if maybe they're disappointed that they partook in something as far as trying to block someone's forward movement, not knowing exactly what it is they were participating in, what they were committing themselves to. Um, but this uh, Queen of Pentacles out here, baby, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I've been told you a long time ago to let something go, but you are very superficial in vain from picking up on you through for the past two, three months. You're very vain. Uh, come across like a, as like a gold digger or something. Um, I don't know if you're the one that, because every time your name comes up, I hear the word prostate, you know, that, yeah, that, that, that word. Either you are, or there's another woman that is in your community, okay? You are choosing to still stay committed to something, even though you are out here in the reverse. Uh, you're trying to prove that you're the better option. The whole time you're worried because someone else is moving forward. After all of the blockages and stagnations you tried to cause them, they're still moving forward and it has you living in fear because you know you're headed right to poverty. The whole family is about to be in poverty. I don't know if this has something to do with money that you all were expecting, but this is over for you all. You're going to have to walk away because the truth is out. This is not something you can hide. All the truth is going to be communicated about you all trying to hold on to what belongs to someone else. You all may end up on the news or someone is going to end up on the news being exposed really horribly. Someone's about to be exposed really horribly, and it's going to be a lot of burdens. There's a king of wands about to be out here burdened. I don't know if he knows the truth, not about a situation, and maybe he's the one that's stuck in this unhealthy relationship. I don't know if he's karmic or he's been with a karmic, um, but he's going through some type of heartbreak as well. There's a king of cups that's heartbroken because he trapped himself in a situation. He may be trapped in some type of legal case losing a relationship or maybe he's mourning with the fact that he cannot have a new beginning with someone that he may have betrayed maybe he felt that you betrayed him and he's finding out that you were never his enemy um this man is feeling very weighed down you as the light worker the ascendant master baby i'm telling you these people ain't getting what it is they want they're not getting what it is they want is a disappointment. You as the Ascendant Master, you are still committed to your path, uh, your loyalty, your tenacity, your strength. Everything is unmatched. It's like these people have been working above and beyond to temper with your energy. And it's like everything they do is just making it better and better. It's like your enemy throwing rocks at you, hiding their hands, or doing all kinds of stuff just to destroy you. But everything they do makes you better and stronger. And heck, you may even have most of these people being in their craft because these are people that say that they're, you know, they're into magic. They're practitioners. You've you may be like a like this young and you dealing with someone this old, this big, and you you've come come out here and master yourself. You're out here on ascendant master has the audacity to be a temperance energy and loyal to your craft and to the most high. People may be finding out that you are someone that truly loves God and you are connected to God. Uh there I go again doing this stuff with my ring light. Oh Lord have mercy, people. Excuse me while I've fixed something here. I really got to stop stepping on this, and I don't know why it does this. Give me one second. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, there we go, folks. I've had this ring light for years, and I just refused to buy a new one, so I'm going to try to take care of that so we can stop going through these blackouts. Uh, maybe this is something people are going through, or maybe they're plotting a blackout, because this happened again uh, in the other reading. <laughs> they're trying to. There's something where people are trying to disconnect someone from their work. But you're not going to be disconnected from your work. Your ancestors are taking care of something. It's like the more someone or a group of people are doing something, the worse 
something is getting for them and i don't even think they realize that they're just sinking themselves into a deeper hole there may be something out here about legalities maybe while they're watching you they don't know that they're being watched as well um yeah i said watched they're being watched as well by an institution there's an institution watching you and there's an, another institution watching them <laughs> They say, yeah, <laughs> it's that kind of special return to sender kind of energy. They say, you're watching her, you're watching him, and we're watching you too, okay? Um, but you're being advised to keep going for what it is that you want. Someone will be taking some type of action to try to steal something from you, and it's going to lead to them being out in the cold, losing everything, and they're going to see you watching moving forward and having abundance and unlimited options and offers in life on how you can move forward. And someone, someone or a group are about to go through some type of dark night of the soul. Uh, there could be an emperor that's putting an end to some type of uh, karmic situation or collaboration with a group of people. And he's about to go through some type of dark night of the soul as well, about to lose a lot because of his decision to work with these people. Someone may have a lot of emotions for you, but he really did you a number. He did a number on you. And it's about to be balanced out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.